a red supercar attracted looks wherever we went. A group of Harley riders had to stop for a close-up look when we pulled into the petrified forest. They seemed to be more interested in the new car than the collection of three million year old petrified trees. We left them to take pictures with the car and headed into the forest. The forest was studied by famed horticulturalist Luther Burbank, who lived nearby in Santa Rosa. He wrote that over three million years ago, a volcano near today's Mount St. Helena, just seven miles away, wiped out the forest. What looks like rocks today is hardened volcanic ash, as is the path through the forest. According to Burbank, when the volcano erupted, it set off a tremendous earthquake so violent that it hurled down the giant redwoods, spewing fire, ash, and molten lava that course down the valley. Rainwater mixed with the silicates in the ash and seeped into the decomposing felled trees. This mixture replaced each wood cell, and when it crystallized, the entire tree turned to stone. Many of these trees were already over 2,000 years old when the volcano buried them three million years ago. The largest is eight feet in diameter. Just how tall it was is hard to determine until more excavation is done. But today, redwoods can reach over 350 feet. These stone giants could have been at least that tall.